everybody, this is Marie Nakwa and it's boy here and this will be about the top 12 performing on Do You Think You Dance? Um, so far what have I thought about it overall? Like, it was great but usually I say it's amazing but not so amazing because um, there was a lot of routines that didn't go really well but I'll explain a little bit later on this video. So, let's see. So far, no injuries. Um, although something did happen, but I'll explain about it later. So, to get things started, here are your judges. Um, let's see, Nigel, my fave Mary, let's see, and a couple of, of judges, which I was, like, confused on, but gave some background, of his dance background, um, Let's see, Sonia Taya, the choreographer, oh my god, I love her, she's just amazing, um, let's see, oh, from Modern Family, um, Jesse Tyler, uh, Ferguson, yeah, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, um, they, he explained that he had some background in dancing, he, about, like, what, three years of it, um, in theme park, um, like what kind of theme park? Just like in general, like a general dancer, and also being part of jazz. A lot about, about him I didn't know about. So yeah, it was so funny though how they do what how Mary and and Nigel go like mm. <laughs> it was just so funny. <laughs> uh, let's see, to get things started. Oh um. Before I, s I start, um, they'll be doing, the contestants will be doing two rounds, the, let's see, they're doing a lot of, um, routines, so, yeah. Again, to get things started, first is Alexander and Sasha, both of them did the Paso Doble. Um, again, the pa Paso Doble, one of my faves, because it's all passion, anger, and had so much passion in this dance. So I was like, wow, this pasta doble is strong. I liked it. it. The chemistry was great. It was amazing. But and also for the when they finished with the dance, oh yeah, and the kiss, nice touch. <laughs> Let's see, Nigel says that there was one part that was sloppy, everything else, much stronger. And for Sasha, a strong, great character. And I agree, because oh, when I saw Sasha, because she was like in total command out there. <laughs> Mary says an under, like, call this an understatement, and she was asking the, the uh, audience, she was like, Say again, ole, ole, <laughs> like on fire. For Sasha, you're a Spanish dancer, and for Alexandra, strong. And she agrees with Nigel that they put up a fight. <laughs> Jesse says that it was highly dramatic. Um, It was brilliant. A little pillar of, like every minute, like a pillar of strength. So yeah, Sonia says it was amazing. And this is funny though, how she said, "Rock my socks." <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Next is Jordan and Tad. Both of them did the contemporary. Um. The whole story in this one is they're at a desert, um, Jordan's the vulture, and Tad's the deserted person. Oh, and let's see, and up for Jordan, she, oh my goodness, she looks hot in her outfit. Let's see, when I look at Tad, he looks like he was hesitant a little bit, but so far this is really good. It reminds me of a modern version of Swan Lake. I'm, let's see, I'm going like between the, like the opera, the dance, the ballet version, and also from the movie as well. Uh, 
Like this is hot. I loved it. Mary says it was beautiful, dark, magnificent. Woo! No surprise. You stand just like, like that. So strong. Jesse says that you're there to win it. Sonia, this is so funny when she has to be like, can I swear? And Kendall's like, no. <laughs> But anyway, about the true, she said it was true artistry, true communication, oh, I mean, not commu communication, true convection, technique, it was unstoppable. Nigel says it was a happy little, little, little story, um, it's almost like the story of Thanksgiving, I'm like, I'm like, really? Story of Thanksgiving? Because this doesn't look like it. Um, that he said was rem remarkable. For Tad, the flip, wow. It was terrific. The pair of you are tremendous. Next is Ryan and Ricky. Both of them did Broadway. Let's see. The whole story in this one that this one guy is waiting for, for his girl, but like for the move movie poster that a girl that girl from movie poster comes to life I gotta say wow um cause it was almost like let's see like someone dancing with a girl from from a Chanel commercial I mean like talking old school here um cause if you wonder like why saying uh, dancing with a girl from Chanel like Think about it, let's see, not in modern times, but think about it in old times when Chanel came out. Um, like, like the back kick, I liked it. And I gotta say, one of my favorite Broadway routines, I liked it. Jesse says that it was glass ceiling, more than the performance, like underwater, just didn't sparkle. I'm like, really? But it gets worse. Um, Sonia said it was it was okay, wasn't the best. Nigel agrees with Sonia. The style, the Broadway style, loses the, the flavor of the steps. It was mm, it was terrible the way how they were connected with the audience. Like la their last week's perform their performance from last week was really good. She didn't make. Like, it didn't make it at all for the vote. So, yeah. Um, Mary says that for the 30 seconds when the, when you guys started, like, it was great, but it could have lived it. The hand, uncomfortable, needs some work. Let's see. Next is Caitlin and Mitchell. Both of them did hip hop. For this story, because I like this one. Um, because the story is about like children in, in Uganda fight fight in in a se sexist war. Like yeah, war something like that. Um, like that story I liked. Like, it was, I was like, whoa, amazing, Kent, this is really good, but unfortunately, I didn't feel it. Like, again, with the whole story about the children in Uganda, um, like, how is this related to the kids in Uganda? Um, like, we didn't get, like, I feel like they're not giving out the message, I mean, to be honest, though, I thought their outfits would be more like how the kids this, how the kids they would look how the kids in Uganda right right now. But yeah, I just didn't feel it. Like I never, I didn't get the message that clearly. So yeah, Sonia says that for. She said, just for me, the connect connection is serious. 
It was a lack of clarity. It jumbled. And how the the unison is tight. Nigel agrees with Sonia. And he's like, what's with the, with the kids? It wasn't together. Mary says, that connect with the story. Command attention with respectable, talented. So short, a little bit. Jesse says that with so much power um, by movement. But the problem was that, what was the mess? What was the message about? Because um, all the judges agree on that, and so am I. Um, but yeah, because I just didn't get it. In. But so far, I was like, I'm like in between on this. So yeah. Next is Melanie and Marco both into the tango. Again, tango, one of my things. Let's see. I was like, woo! Um. Nice on the flip and the legs. Nice on the other foot. This is really, really good. And for the dress, oh my god, it was gorgeous. Nigel says that it was tremendous. The final lift, fantastic. I'll rise up to the challenge. Mary says there's a... She ex explained a little bit the different types of tango, like the Argentine tango. But for this one, it's like American. The American type of, of tango. It was all in there. Tough. Good, good job. Jesse says that possesses the... Like the, the spark. Have it the rest of your life. Special dancers, you are. Sonia says that, oh my god, lo lose my breath here. Um, she keeps saying this a lot. Conviction. Discipline. Trust. Timeless. Timeless dancer. Next is Clarice and Jess, both of them did hip hop. Um, but this is about the, a woman's insecurity. Um, cause like, when they sh show the song, like, someone did a cover of Just The Way You Are from Bruno Mars. I'm like, okay, cause, uh, to me, it didn't feel connected with the music. Um, I gotta see though, nice on, on jazz. It was, it was interesting, gorgeous on, like of the painting of Clarice, but honestly, I didn't feel that happy about it. Um, cause it, I just find it a little bit of a cutesy one, but eh. Mary says it was amazing, just the way you are. Like kind of like the lyrics. <laughs> it was cute, innocent, and the dancing, the pulse and swag. It's hard to produce. Loved every second of it. Jesse says that didn't and see he liked it. Sonia says it was adorable, slayed it. Nigel says he loved the story, beautifully danced. Um, that it wasn't there in the beginning of of hip hop. Um, but it was lovely. Let's see it now. It's round two. Let's see. First is Sasha and Alexander both in the contemporary. I was like, nice leaps. Woo! Um, the cam is pretty good. I was like, whoa, on the spins. I'm like, wow, I liked it. Jesse says that he even, let's see, it's almost like a Melissa a reference. Um, if you don't know, I think it's from season seven with, um, no, 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 I think it was season six or seven with this woman's work performance. Oh my God, one of my favorite contemporary 
pieces. Um, so yeah, it was beyond amazing, fantastic, and one of his face. Sonia says that, like, can I swear? I'm like, <laughs> I get what the swearing. I'm like, you're like beep 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 beep. <laughs> Alex, let's see. She says to Alexander Dovin, amazing. You killed it, gorgeous. That she loved the message. Made it happen. Nigel says, Best I have ever, that I have seen. You danced strong. It was a little shaky, but again, it was good. Mary agrees with, with everything. Um, like the freedom and the relaxed what relaxed way um it was enjoyable that you don't have to worry anymore next is jordan and tan both of them did broadway let's see for this story it's about a princess let's see that's a sleep for for a hundred years i might think of it like sleeping beauty for instance but maybe a little bit from the Grimm's fairy tale version and the um, and maybe a little bit from the Disney version as well. Um, I I like Jordan's out outfit. Um, the cam was great. Like woo, nice on the spins. I liked it. Sonia says it was underwhelmed. Um, jumble on things. It was it was so funny when she said. Awkward. <laughs> that for the abilities and the craft, didn't see them. Nigel says that it needs to be a little quirky. And let's see. He did a little bit of a Disney reference. Like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast and the Prince from Enchanted. And also did a, made a Tony Basil re reference. Um, like Mark Quirk, I meant Mark Quirk of the way she did. If you don't know who, but FYI, um, if you don't know who Tony Basil is, um, let's see, she's that one singer during the, I think it was what, the 80s or 90s, I, I forgot, um, uh, but that hit song, um, uh, let's see, that Hey Mickey song that she did. Yeah, I don't want to sing in my lip. Again, upward. <laughs> But, he, but overall, I just said it was okay. Let's see. Mary says to find a way to make it work. Make it stronger, like cotton candy. Like, I like cotton candy. <laughs> Jesse says she. Uh, he agrees with everyone. Style, costume, like it was good, but not his face. Next is... Ryan and Ricky both did the cha cha. Again, I love the cha cha so much. Like Ryan's outfit, pretty. I was like, whoa, this cam is strong. I'm like, damn, I loved it. This cha cha is one of my faves, best I've ever seen for this season. Nigel says that for Ricky, like doing well, great style, but for Ryan. Nigel feels that Ryan's overdoing it, that she needs to be careful, that legs need to be, be far apart. It was a little sloppy. Mary says that she tasted the cha-cha, agrees with Nigel about, about Ricky, and this time he calls Ryan a hot tamale diva. And remember that she says that, that I'm putting Ricky on the hot tamale train here! Woo! <laughs> and for, for Ricky, that for, for a second you started that so, that it was fun, you fought it, Clean, like live in the train, train here again with the hot tamale train here. Jesse says that like for 
Like for Ryan, she, she was a little flirty a little bit with Jesse, but needs to work on it. But for Ricky, brilliant. Fave of the, his favorite of, of the season. Sonia says that for Ryan, that he, ce he celebrated it. Embrace how wonderful you, you are to Ryan. So, yeah. Next is Caitlin and Mitchell. Um, let's see. They did a jazz piece. So I gotta say, though, this is one sexy performance. Nice on the slap. This is amazing. Perfect. And I gotta say, one of my favorites of the night. Mary says that slightly slightly naughty, <laughs> intense, gutsy, loved it. Like, incredible. Jesse says that only... This is funny, though. I'm like, why did he quote this? Um, that he said, only you can prevent forest fires. I'm like, really? And for Kaylin, look hot. Fantastic. Sonia says that it was really, really hot. And Kaylin, so hot! And Mitchell, I'm like, like where are you? Where, where you are? Amazing piece. And don't sick. <laughs> well, I mean sick, I mean in a good way. Nigel says that he agrees with Sonia. And for Kaylin, that it, the dance routine it was a piece of entertainment. Next is Melanie and Marco, both did contemporary. Um... For this story on this one, um, it's like, it be, like how, how each, um, person is in a, both light and dark place. Think of it like a, a little bit like Ghost Whisperer. So, yeah, um, I thought it was interesting, it was good. Jesse says that the mind is blowing. A new, new favorite. Sonia says that a future of dance. Grateful, inspired, blessed. Nigel says that excite, excited about next week. How magical about, well, let's see about both of you. Beautiful. Mary says it was flawless. Like shining stars on the show. Last but not least is Clarice and Jess, both of them did the jive. Um, like, nice cam. Woo! Um, like, I love... The actually like this one. Um, oh yeah, I remember that. I love Clarice's jet dress. It was so cute. It looked really fun. Sonia says that I loved, loved it, loved it. It was amazing. Nigel said, agrees with Sonia. Nice legs. Like, uncomfortable with, with the lifts. Needs more energy. Mary agrees with, yeah. Mary agrees with, with Nigel. Um, like, loose steam. Jesse agrees with everyone that it was a fun performance. And he gave out a little, little announcement that, oh my god, I, I couldn't, believe, couldn't believe it that he said that Neil Patrick Harris is going to be a judge, a guest judge on Safety and Good Dance. I'm like, really? Oh, I'm like, if he's going to be in there, oh my god, he's just so funny. So yeah, um, I'll be talking about the results. Um, but for the group number, um, I couldn't put it there that it looked like 
it looked like the cha-cha or the tango, like in between there. Um, I was like, whoa, nice on the long skirt. I'm like, ooh, and it took off. This is Garienta here. I loved it. I'm like, I thought they ended up like, whoa, spoke too soon. Again, I loved it. And let's see. Oh, and they also talk about the about the Emmys a little bit because you want to know why? Because Cat was nominated for an Emmy. I'm like, really? That's amazing. And so I think the dance not were was nominated as well. I'm like, wow. And there's around let's see six choreographed nominations. I'm like, wow, because this is how they deliver the, they said it was a small pa package of the, of the choreogra choreographers on, on see if they could dance, think about like, Maggie Moore, Mia Michaels, Stacey, Stacey Tookie, um, Travis Wall, and Tabitha and Napoleon, like one of the best choreographers I've ever seen. And let's see. Oh, they talk about the All Stars. Um, cause the way it's gonna happen. Well, really this week that everyone's gonna let's see. They're splitting up the couples. It's gonna be a new partner and dancing with, with the All All Stars on see if you can dance. They made an announcement that I don't think you may remember about for Alex. Yeah, Alex Wong. I think he's from season, I think he's from season 7, I think. Um, they considered him to be part of the All-Stars for, for this week, but it's going to be a no, because from last season, he broke his, his right tendon, but unfortunately, he broke the left one. I'm like, ooh, that's got to hurt. But yeah, he was like really discouraged by all this. So yeah, I hope that he feels better. Because think about it. Dance is not that, not that easy here. You're putting your body a, putting your body a lot, lot to do here. So yeah. So let's stick to results. Um, for Clarice and Jess, safe. Kaylin and Mitchell, they're in the bottom three. Melody and Marco, safe. Brian and Ricky, they're in the bottom three. Jordan and Tad, safe. So that means Sasha and Alexandra, they're in the bottom three here. I'm like, really? Because for Sasha and Alexandra, I don't get it here. Um, Because those two have... Those two have never been in the bottom three before, so again, we'll see how it happens. Let's see. Oh, they also revealed a who for all the all stars are for for this week. So let me tell you. Melody from season one, Allison from season two, Pasha from season three, from season four, Twitch, Comfort, and Chelsea. From season five. Brandon, Catherine from season six, and oh my goodness, yes, they made for the All Stars. Robert from from last season, like he's my favorite. Let's see. Oh, and for the guest, let's see, for the guest performance, um, for from season three, from. Let's see what this is. Jack, Jason, um, Samuel Smurf, Smith, um, because he made, he went back to his, to the tap company. He was, a, he was there before. I was like, whoa, and, nice on the, on the rap for, for the performance. It was really good. Oh, and let's 
Let's see. I didn't recognize her um, from, let's see, when she performed the, the tap number, like, Melinda? I didn't recognize her from last season. Let's see. Like, overall, for the solo performances, it was really good, but there's one teeny little problem. Um, from Ryan, like, I thought there was not a lot of dancing from her, so, yeah. But my favorite solo performance was Alexander's. I'm like, my damn, this is getting hot here. Like, he looks good, even without a shirt on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, whoa, amazing. It's in another um, guest performance. Um, Nicole, I, I can't pronounce her last name, um, Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls, I'm like, really, again, um, cause, I'm like, what happens to the Pussycat, Pussycat Dolls, um, are they broken up or what, I don't know, I'm like, wow, I haven't seen her for a while, but, but for her, for her single, um, what was it called, right there, like, so far it's pretty good. I liked it, but I like it better when she's back with the Pussycat Dolls. I don't know what happened to them, so yeah. Uh, let's see, and more on results. Um, I'll tell you this, that the girl that's going to be going home is... Ryan. So that means Caitlyn and Sasha, safe. And for the boy that's going to be going home, I was like, what? Want to know who that is? Alexander. So that means Mitchell and Ricky are sick. I'm like, what? I'm like, why? I'm like, no, no, no. Why do they do that? So yeah, there you have it. Like so much drama going on here. I'm like, like I'm so disappointed. I thought Alexander would be safe, but oh well. But I hope good things happen for him. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I know I usually put my my videos on Saturdays. Let's see. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, but for the fashion wise, for for cast. Let's see, both gorgeous. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is Marina Quinn I took four here. So see ya.